I'm Christina Simmons. I'm a supporter of the Brexit Party. One of the things that we have always held dear in this country is our right to freedom of speech. It's been something that we've had for quite a long time in this country. There have been, over the last millennia, there have been monarchs who very seriously objected to people saying nasty things about them. Um, and of course, the political class don't like us saying nasty things about them now, but we do have the right to do so. That's why I can stand here now and say I disagree with what our government and what many people, not just in the government, but in the establishment generally, are trying to force us into. However, how long will that remain? It's a really important factor because at the moment the Brexit party exists. You can vote for something the establishment passionately does not want you to vote for. How long though? The reason I ask the question, and I will quote for you, on the 6th of March 2001, the European Court of Justice ruled the EU can lawfully suppress political criticism of its institutions and of leading figures. Sweeping aside English common law and 50 years of European precedence on civil liberties. This is an article from one of the newspapers at the time. The, mission, the Commission could restrict dissent and punish individuals who damaged the institution's image and reputation. The case has wider implications for free speech that could extend to EU citizens who do not work for the Brussels bureaucracy. An argument put forward by the then Advocate General implied that criticism of the EU was akin to extreme blasphemy and therefore not protected speech. In 1933, the Ministry of Information was set up in Germany and Mr Goebbels, no Dr Goebbels, was the man in charge. It was a ministry of disinformation. It was a propaganda machine. People were not allowed to criticise the German government of the day. We shouldn't be going down this route in what is said to be a democratic European Union. That is a dangerous precedent and it can be extended. If you want freedom of speech, you have to have sovereignty and you have to be able to control the people who make the laws by which we are all governed. It's very easy for those people in charge to make a law that says it's wrong to criticise the government. Can you imagine in this country not being able to criticise a Liberal Democrat, um, Boris Johnson, um, Mr Corbyn? any of the people that are in power that control our lives, we have to be able to criticise individuals and to criticise parties or uh, positions which people take on certain issues. Only by free, open discussion do you actually have a democracy. Freedom of speech is really powerful. Someone wrote many years ago, last two, three centuries ago, I think, that the pen is mightier than the sword. And you need to remember that we are now being controlled not by tanks and troops, but by treaties. The power of the pen, the power of the word. We need to retain free speech.